it's John here. Welcome to another Minecraft, not Let's Play, a little bit of a gripe video, and you're gonna see why in just a second. But first off, I want to say sorry, dudes. I haven't been uploading. I've literally only uploaded one video in the last two weeks, and that sucks. And I'm really sorry, dudes. But I've been flying back and forth to Los Angeles from here in Seattle uh, for work, and now I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. I'm bringing my gear with me this time. So uh, here we go. First video is gonna be 10 things I don't like about Minecraft Bedrock, which is this better together uh, version. There are things I love about this game, but I'm gonna share the things that I kind of dislike about it, because there are more things I dislike than I do like. So first off, I'm gonna start off with this, the main screen. The main screen is uh, it's pretty generic. This is not one of the things I dislike, it's just, I'm just, I just wanna notate it. First thing that I, I, I notice here is in the skin section. And it looks like it has this blank skin, so we may get custom skins in the future. But I'm gonna say I doubt they do. They're gonna do that. Only in the sense that they've fought against this for so long. Um, the only place they allow it on really is on the computer and on the the handheld devices on PE. So maybe they're gonna bring it in. But I don't see how we're gonna be able to upload to our Xboxes or our Nintendo Switches for that matter. So anyway, so that's the the, the first thing I'm noticing here is uh, the, all the variations of skin packs, but they're very limited. There's only like 15 per. But you have to buy these, and you gotta buy them with coins. You can't buy them with money. Like before, I could spend a dollar ninety nine and get myself a skin pack, uh, or ninety nine cents depending on the skin pack. Now I can't do that. I, I have to actually go through like if I wanted to buy this Master Chief collection, I'm gonna call it Master Chief. It looks it says Cyberspace Team Pack. I'm guessing this is their. Uh, reasoning behind not having the Halo pack because they can't use the Halo pack for those that use uh, Nintendos and on the handhelds. So I think this is their variation of the ha Halo pack because it looks just freaking like it, Master Chief. There is just not green. Uh, you got and you have to. You can't keep scrolling. If you stop at the five, you have to hit the bumper. This feels very much so uh, made for touch, not for. For console, that's another one of my my issues. I'll talk more about that later. But we have very few unlocked skins. Where at least in on on the Xbox and on the Switch, uh, we have a lot more available to us. Even if we don't buy any, we have a lot more that are free. They just happen to come come with various things. And I don't see any of those packs. And I'm wondering if they're gonna transfer them over. They claim they're gonna transfer some of them, just not all of them. But it's been a while now, and I haven't seen any of them come through. Like, none of these are from from the Xbox, from 4J, uh, 4J Studios' version of, uh, of Minecraft. I feel like we're kind of stuck with these, what is it, like 10 characters that we're allowed to, allowed to use right now for free? Unless we want to buy some. And I'm just not ready to buy uh, skins just yet. Especially if this is going to become a thing. If this is going to actually become a custom skin thing later on, that would be really freaking cool. I just don't understand how they're going to do it. Maybe it'll be something simple where we can just upload. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, so uh, right now I have this this skin chosen because, I don't know, whatever. But it feels it still feels very, very clunky to me. Like everything, and sometimes it sticks. Like I'm hitting the bumpers and it doesn't go. Like I said, it feels very much so like it's for a touch and not for a controller. So anyway, speaking of the Halo pack, I bought that. You know, it costs money to buy that Halo pack, and I feel like I'm not going to get that ever again. I'm going to lose that. The only place I'm going to be able to play it is on my Xbox 360, which I don't use very often. A lot of you dudes and dudettes out there do use the Xbox 360, so that's fine, fine for you guys. I can't use that anymore. There are going to be a few other DLCs that are going to be dropped off that we're just not going to get on here which sucks because i paid good money for those and we're not going to get some of those back over here that to me is a huge freaking shame their only saving grace will be is if they have this custom skin we'll see what they what happens in the next uh next month or so because this is supposed to drop uh in october when they release the uh, the minecraft redstone powered xbox that minecraft skin on the xbox We'll see what happens. This is supposed to come with it. Menus. Let's go into settings really quick. The menu feels... It's pretty generic. It's so massive. These buttons are huge. I mean, on my screen... I have a big TV. So on my screen, they're like 12 inches wide. Is that freaking necessary? Before, the menu was just this one side, basically, when you went to something. And then you had tabs across the top. I, I They kind of went back to the scroller thing. And I, kinda, I say they kind of went back to... They didn't go back to anything. 
What they did was they took the menu from PE and they slapped it on my freaking Xbox. It's very, very much so a touch controller type of thing. So if I go to controller settings here, I can select that. Then I go down here. Look how massive these buttons are. They're freaking huge. I mean, I guess they're easy to see. If you're watching this on a, a, a handheld device, they look normal because it looks like Windows P or uh, Minecraft PE because it is Minecraft PE. These giant buttons. I mean, they have different ones here because we have a controller, but I can hook up a controller to my to my phone and I could use it through Bluetooth and I would still have these uh, controller options on there. They didn't do anything. They didn't change anything. They just slapped one menu over from Minecraft PE. And I'm not knocking Minecraft PE. Minecraft PE is an amazing piece of software for my phone or for my iPad or for your Android devices out there. They work amazing on there. I just don't feel that these menus are up to par with a console. You have a lot more options on console, and this, I feel, is kind of shortchanging us, uh, giving us the same exact generic touch menu uh, that we have on those devices I, that I could easily get away with not having on here. It's just so massive. I've got to scroll like 10 pages to get to the bottom, and it's just freaking silly. I don't know. It's just not my favorite thing in the world at all with this. Uh, the menu system in Minecraft uh, was very, very well designed, I think, especially by 4J Studios. They did a fantastic job on it. And I'm going to keep referring to that because 4J did an amazing job. And I give them a lot of credit for the amount of work they did for console users because it translates to the, con translates to the console so, so well. And now we have kind of a reverted version, a dumbed-down version uh, for our consoles that works well on touch controllers but not so much on here i feel it's very very clunky and it's very massive for what it is hopefully they fix this hopefully they change it it, it could easily right i know their system can easily recognize what system i'm on you can actually see it at the top center of the screen it says xbox one so darn well knows what system i'm using it should be able to auto correct the menu for the system I'm on. If I'm on my console, it should give me the old menu or something similar to it. Maybe something nicer, smoother, cleaner looking, but this is not it. Friends, friends right here. I have no joinable friends. Well, I, I do know that I have friends that are on here right now that are playing this exact beta um, and they have worlds set up. So this must be a bug that they're trying to work out because I have never been able to join friends in their games. This is unlike the servers, right? On servers, you can join games all, all day long, but friends are when friends set up a, a map that's open to the public that you can join in or open to your friends or your friends of friends or however it works out. Uh, this is where you can join in. And I don't see any of them on here. And I know I just spoken to a couple and they said that they're, they have open games. I don't see anybody on here. So that to me is a little disappointing. Hopefully it's just a bug fix. We'll see what happens in the near future once again. And let's go to creating worlds. We're not going to go so much into syncing with our old world. Syncing with old worlds is really, really easy. I was able to transfer some over. There are a few glitches with that, but I'm hoping that that stuff gets fixed. There are a lot of glitches in this game. I'm hoping all those get fixed in the next month or so. And uh, let's go ahead and create a world. And this is a huge deal to me because uh, creating worlds that are custom are very, very important to me. Only in the sense that I do a lot of these... Uh, tutorial videos and I can't do them if I can't create the proper type of world I guess so I may have to jump back to my Xbox 360 and start recording on there because this is gonna be uh, really bad if this stuff doesn't get fixed so the cool part about it is these things you can buy templates this was not new because this is exactly what you were able to do on PE before and on uh, the Windows 10 edition you could buy these pr prior this is nothing new uh, it is new to Xbox and new to Nintendo Switch and hopefully to the place to the PlayStation 4 They're still working out their deal with PlayStation now. So we'll see what happens. So let's create a new a new world So again, the menu feels very very clunky. It's very massive You can do add-ons which is gonna be kind of nice You can do resource packs resource packs are just texture packs. I don't know why they, they changed that They should have just left it people know what texture packs are a resource pack is a texture pack. So for those of you that don't know, there it is. Uh, behavior packs, I'm going to guess these are going to be some type of mod packs. They're currently not available. Hopefully we see some in the near future that are going to be interesting. I will buy mod packs. I will spend money on mod packs if they're what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm going to guess they're going to be simple things like vein miner and stuff like that. So we'll see what, what they end up coming up with 
uh, when those jump in. And again, here we go. The menu <laughs> is just killing me. So the world type is really, really important to me. When I create worlds, it depends on what tutorial I'm doing. This is all the options I have. Flat, infinite, and old. Old is the 5,000 by 5,000. Old meaning the, the largest version of, uh, the, the, of Minecraft on Xbox edition or the Nintendo U, Wii U or Switch edition is 5,000 by 5,000 blocks. I can't make a small world. I can't make a medium world. I have to only make, I can only make the large world, an infinite world, or a flat world. That sucks because sometimes when I'm looking for something, when I'm trying to do a video on say like Woodland Mansions, I usually create a smaller medium world only so I could find uh, the mansions quicker and show you guys the video as opposed to hunting for 30 minutes for uh, said mansion uh, before we jump into the video. That makes my life a lot more difficult, especially infinite. Infinite, I don't see as being a necessity at all. I don't know how many of you guys have used an entire world of Minecraft, especially the 5,000 by 5,000 worlds. They're massive. They go on for days. And to say that you need more <laughs> is kind of silly to me. I don't, I don't understand the need for that. But to each his own. Maybe you guys will utilize it. I don't think I ever will. And there's a good reason for it. We're going to be talking about that in uh, number number eight uh, coming up in just a second. Okay, so that's uh, basic. Th these basic worlds. Now let's go ahead and create a flat world. I do a lot of custom flat worlds. Um, yeah, you can't customize the flat worlds anymore. <laughs> that sucks. So uh, again, the, the basic flat worlds are three blocks of dirt and bedrock. It makes for a really crummy setup because I like setting up depth to my world, especially flat worlds, so I can build underground and show you guys redstone underground, especially how thick contraptions are made. And uh, this kind of deviates from my, my liking. I, I love building custom flat worlds. And then when I build stuff like giant circles or massive structures, I use grid patterns. Grid pattern meaning I use like uh, iron so you can see the checkerboard pattern on the screen. And that way you guys can see the actual scale of these things. You can follow it and count with it if you need to. And it makes building for other people very, very easy. Um, as opposed to now I, I'm only stuck with grass. And hopefully they add those. I don't see them being a problem, but for now, it's not an option, and I'm crossing my fingers hoping that they fix this, because that's really important to me, uh, especially for my tutorial videos. All right, we're in our flat world. Y yay. <laughs> yay. All right. So, I want to switch between, I mean, things look different. Look at the grass. It's got patches of it. It does look nice. There are things that I love. Well, things that I hate, this freaking lava. That is ugly as ugly can be. It looks like I have a texture pack on, and I don't. So I guess you give and take. Uh, they took, <laughs> they took lava away. So I want to change um, into uh, hurry up, change into creative. Wait, wait, I can't hit that button. So this button on the left was what what I used to press. It's center left. It's the the one that looks like the two uh, windows opening each other. I used to be able to hit that and then switch over to um, to survival really really quick. And the same for creative. I can't do that anymore. So now I gotta hit the opposite button. I gotta go down into settings. I gotta go into game. And then I can go into creative. And then I can change it for the game into creative or my personal, for me, myself, mm -hmm. I can change me into survival, I mean. So I've gotta go, I feel like I've gotta go one or two more steps in order to do that. In regular Minecraft, Xbox edition, you can see here, very straightforward. I can just click the creative, survival, whatever I want right there. But here, I gotta go into settings, into game, and then I can switch it. So I feel like I've gotta go much deeper where they eliminated this menu here. I don't have this. I can hear me clicking it. Nothing happens. It should automatically jump to that menu. That would be kind of nice. It'd be an easy fix, quite honestly. If if I could hit this and this would just automatically put me into settings, like if this buttons was just a settings shortcut, that would be great. Menus feel clunky. Again, they feel very much so made for, look at that giant menu. It's massive on my screen. It may not be giant on your screen, depending on what you're watching it on. But even on Ethan's screen, he uses a 24 inch monitor to play upstairs. And even on his screen, these buttons look massive. They take up the entire freaking thing and just kind of cheesy and pointless. They, again, they make sense on a touch device. If I could touch my TV, it'd be great, but I can't touch my TV. And even if I could, I'd just put fingerprints on it. I don't want to do that. So it, it just, 
It doesn't make any sense in this gameplay. Another issue that we're having, and I just showed you guys that a second ago, is this. It's huge to me. May not be big to you guys, but it's massive to me. Save and quit. Where's my where's my just quit without saving option? Hopefully they add this because right now, this is massive in the sense that now if I invite people over, I have to be really, really careful as to who, when, who I invite into my games. If I get a griefer in there and they destroy something, previously I could just quit the game without saving, go back in, it's not a problem. It's a little bit of a headache, but it doesn't matter because um, ultimately my stuff is safe. Now I have to create a backup every single time I want to invite somebody over. So I'm going to have a ton of backups only because I can't just simply not save and quit. I have to save and quit every single time. To me, that just seems kind of like not well thought out. I think this is very, very freaking lazy. You guys, Minecraft, Microsoft, dudes, you literally gave me the menu from Minecraft PE and slapped it on my Xbox where we had a lot more options on our Xboxes, our Wii U's, our Nintendo Switches, and our PlayStations prior to this. And I feel like you guys took away all of the extra functionality that 4J painstakingly made to make our gameplay a lot smoother. And I feel like this is all gone now. Not all, I'm sorry, I'll rephrase that. A lot of the, the cool additions that you've added over the last, what is it, five years are all gone. <laughs> They're going away slowly and all all in the next month when this beta is no longer a beta. Now, number eight. Number eight is a big one. Here, check this out. My mini map. What are you guys noticing that's not there? If I'm looking at it. Yeah, there's no freaking coordinates. So now when you're playing an infinite game, yay, you've got an infinite game and I'm running 5,000 blocks that way. Good luck finding your way home. There's just no way. Unless you can TP home, I, I or you can set like a home or a beacon or something. I don't know if they're going to do that. Maybe they will. I'm not certain. <laughs> There's really no point because as soon as you venture off even a few hundred blocks in one direction, people can get lost very, very easy, especially when it's kids playing. Sometimes they don't have the greatest idea of landmarks and stuff like that. They just kind of get lost. So now you're going to lose your position. And not to mention when you're digging for diamonds. I know I want to go to, down to level 12 every single freaking time. Anywhere in that general vicinity, I'm going to have a good chance of finding diamonds. Now I don't know where the crap I am. There are no coordinates. Okay. Unless they add it to the very top menu. See that little menu at the very top where it says beta, blah, 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 Xbox One, frame, uh, FPS. Maybe they'll add coordinates there. I don't know. But for now, it's not there. It's nowhere. <laughs> I don't see it. So maybe they're going to add it. And then not to mention, this is an old map. Watch what happens when I switch to the new map. Bam! Look at that. I, I'm not even on this map. This is just a map I created of a certain location. I'm not on that map. It also doesn't show an indicator of where I am in comparison to that map. If I'm above it, to the right of it, to the left of it. Nope. Too freaking bad. Here, let's create another one. Let's go ahead and create a map. That's this area here where we're at. Look at Where are we on this map? There's no little indicator. Look, if I go to this, you can see my little cursor in the center. It's spinning round and round and round and round. That's where I'm standing. If I go to the new map, it doesn't show where I'm at. As a matter of fact, it's not even where I'm standing. The center isn't even where I'm standing. That yellow building is not here. It's over that way. There, It's over there. That's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I don't understand. What happened with the, the maps? This is a big, big problem. This is probably one of the biggest problems that we're having so far is this right here. No coordinates, and I'm not even opening up a map of where I'm physically standing. That's terrible, guys. You have to fix this. Come on, guys. Let's get on this. Hopefully, these, these fixes come up. I, they're simple fixes, but hopefully, they get taken care of before the game physically launches. Right now, we're still in beta, so I'm expecting a lot of these things. So what else are you going to notice here at the very top menu? There are no more mini games. Battle mini games will be removed. For those of you that love battle mini games, and I do, they're, they're going away. You guys that bought uh, maps for them, all the DLCs, sorry dudes and dudettes, they're going to be gone. You spent money for just a little bit of time, got to play them for the last year, and that was it. For those of you that have the the, the pass, that, that sucks even worse because you spent a lot of money on the pass, and now you're not going to even have access to anything from it. Those are going to be gone, just deleted. So when this transfers over from the Xbox One edition 
to this Better Together or from the Switch edition to Better Together, you're losing those. Their, uh, their suggestion is because when we have servers, we have all these new games you can play on servers. Servers are awesome in the sense that, yeah, you get to play with a bunch of people. Except for, what if I don't want to? What if I want to only play with just my friends? What if I want to only play with a small handful of people? Now you have no option. Now you have to play with whomever is on that server. I know you can create custom stuff in in, uh, in Mindplex and whatnot, but there's a lot of sick disconnected from server. Okay. So I have three three servers on, and none of them are connected. Okay, there we go. Let's jump into Mindplex. Let's see if it'll actually load this time. Could not connect. Outdated server. Okay. So this happened. This this uh comment comes up when you uh when you're jumping in from the java edition when you have an outdated version of minecraft uh that you're trying to play with and i know i don't have an outdated version of minecraft so let's jump into any one of these other lame ones let's jump into in pvp or lifeboat lifeboat has a really bad reputation for things so let's see if it works yay lifeboat so lifeboat if you jump into uh where, where is the uh whoa i don't want to link my account this is the issue is because it is so laggy the servers are just not that great you have so many people on here and these are all people not just from xbox so look at look at this you can actually see the sign from here oh my gosh the lag what am i getting frames per set 3.5 fps that's garbage that is so pointless and that's the least of my worries is the frame rates but you can actually see from here there's a lot of sections that exclude xbox players so you can see right there non xbl players can jump in to these servers so not everything is xbox inclusive some of it is very much so exclusive excluding uh xbox players so every other kind of player can play there we go we're getting we're getting 3.7 frames 5.8 so here's the other thing see that look at that it says lag the chat at the very top of the screen can be literally anything and anything that pops up right now anything that pops up in chat um, is going to show up and there are a lot of very very inappropriate things so that makes it very very unsafe for the younger crowd that play minecraft look at this dude's like stuck in the floor no he's stuck sorry dude you're, you're done don't know what to tell you game is so glitchy anyway so it makes it very very unsafe for the younger crowd so i have a six-year-old that plays liam plays uh minecraft a lot and he wants to play on servers because he loves playing mini games so now he's forced to play on these servers where anything can be said Literally anything. So I have a lot of the, the chat muted. Anything that pops up that's going to be inappropriate, that's going to get blocked out. And it's already popped up. Yay. For those of you that are parents out there that are listening, make sure you do this. Because honestly, some of the stuff that's on here is ridiculously inappropriate. Being asked by adults or older kids or some kids just being plain just mean. And the stuff that's being said is just flat out inappropriate. I know the game is supposed to be 10 plus, but let's be realistic. A lot of kids below 10 years old play this game because there's really nothing inappropriate about it until now there we go i'm at two frames per second this is horrendous anyway so, so look at look at look at the glitches look at all the people on the ground right here they're buried they're all stuck servers need to get cleaned up there's something needs to get done in order to fix all this and there are like i said there's no amount of moderators there's no amount of bots there's no amount of spiders that can go through and filter the amount of stuff that's being said or asked for um, amongst all the people that are playing on these servers so it's going to be a challenge uh, i feel like it was very very lazy and very very rushed to push these through i think this should have been thought out a little bit more there should be a lot more to it i was excited about all this the servers that are going to be on here but so far it's not the best and i'm thinking that the beta is more so for microsoft and not so much for these servers the server owners i don't know if they they care all that much they're just going to make it patched as much as possible so it starts operating and eventually you're going to be able to add you know hundreds of servers on here not just these three i don't think it's going to be uh it's going to be a, it's going to be a nightmare it's going to suck because you're going to have to go through the settings and shut off settings for every single separate server that you play on not just one by one and some gamer tags are a little bit on the more inappropriate side so i think it's going to be a little bit issue a little bit of an issue not to mention these skins that's not appropriate at all We'll see what happens. I'm really hoping they address a lot of these issues because a lot of people have been complaining about them, including some very, very big YouTubers um, have been calling these out as what the crap. So uh, I want to see what happens. 
that was my uh, my ten least liked things of uh, Better Together. Not to mention this freaking server. This is horrible. <laughs> the frames per second are terrible on this. Uh, if you guys did like this video, you guys want to see more stuff just like this, or maybe you want to see ten things I actually like about this game. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can hit ten. Uh, challenge me to find ten things I like. I don't know. Uh, th then uh, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you're at all new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button, it helps the channel out a great deal. And while you're at it, if you click the little bell, I know, I know, sell out moment, it turns on notifications, hashtag notification squad, and it lets you do, do, do that to know when we upload our videos. And until next time, guys, see ya!